Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about brushless sensorless motors and five advantages that you can get with a sensorless system over, let's say, a censored system. For those of you that don't know, a sensorless brushless motor is exactly as the name implies. It is a motor that does not contain any sensors. Sensors are ultimately used to pass information from your brushless motor to your electronic speed control that controls that motor. A sensor motor does not have those sensors and the way that the ESC the electronic speed control gets the information is it has to figure it out itself now this generally is only when you're trying to get the motor from a zero rotational speed zero rpm up to the lower threshold in many cases the lower threshold rpm is only a few thousand now let's go through those five advantages in no particular order and let's start with number one which deals with lower cost Obviously, if you are getting a brushless motor and you can eliminate some of the components from that motor, the manufacturer doesn't need to go and purchase those items to drop in the motor, nor does it need to install it or even make the necessary room to position those so they have a home within the actual motor itself. And because of this, the manufacturer saves on money, thus you do as well as you don't need to purchase that. Now, brushless sensorless motors are quite a bit cheaper than the sensor versions and it's definitely a significant advantage to you especially if you're concerned about budget. Now let's go and move on to item number two, which deals with size and the weight advantage of a sensorless motor. Because we don't need to have some extra room in the back of the motor, for example, this here is a sensorless motor. And if it was a censored motor, you would have a good bit of room required in the back of the motor just to be able to have some real estate for those sensors. Because we don't need those sensors in this motor and we don't have the sensors in this motor, you can essentially consume the entire length of this motor with the necessary components that produce the power that drives our vehicles forward. Now, not only do you gain in terms of a size advantage, and this is gonna be important for many of you if you have limitations within your radio control vehicles, you gain a weight advantage as well. Because you don't need the physical size, you can eliminate that physical size in the case, as well as eliminating some of the lighter components that make up the sensors that are positioned in the back there of the brushless motor. These few details dealing with the size and the weight of the actual brushless motor provide you with those types of advantages over a censored type of brushless motor. Now let's move on to the third item here on our list, which is looking at increased durability. Now because we don't have any of the sensors positioned inside of our brushless motor, we don't need to worry about damage something or getting something wet inside there. That would be an additional component inside of our motor. Sensors, if they do get wet and they're unprotected, they may not work as intended. And if this is the case, you're gonna be operating that vehicle in a sensorless orientation regardless. In addition to the environmental impact that we can have with a censored motor, there is also the impact of the wire that goes from the motor to the electronic speed control. This wire can be damaged in common and typical use of radio controlled vehicles. You can imagine that if it's possible to damage the wire that goes from the motor to the electronic speed control, it is also possible to damage the sensors that are housed within the motor as well. And those can get damaged by abusing the motor in certain types of conditions. A perfect example of how you could possibly damage the sensors within a radio control vehicle is any type of high impact, high G forces that happen in a very short period of time. This can be if you're bashing a radio control car, you launch it off a ramp, it comes crashing down and does not land on its wheels. This can impact the components that are inside of that brushless motor and possibly move them out of position or break them. With all these things said, you can imagine that it's going to be a lot more reliable to have a sensorless brushless motor as you won't have to worry about any of those additional components, especially if you are the type that tend to bash your radio controlled vehicle around. And this of course would be a radio controlled car. Now let's move on to the next item on our list which deals with the ideal performance that we can get from a sensorless motor. We talked about the difference there 
with a censored versus a sensorless brushless motor. And as you can imagine, a sensorless motor, once you get past that few thousand RPM, go from zero to a few thousand, after that, there is essentially zero advantage to the censored motor. Let's now move on to item number four on our list, which deals with the ideal performance range. And this range looks very good for our sensorless brushless motor. As we talked about very early on in this video, once a sensorless brushless motor hits a few thousand RPM, those sensors that would be on your censored motor are absolutely no longer required. In fact, a sensorless motor operating in sensorless mode is going to be a lot more efficient than operating the timing of a brushless censored motor in censored mode. Regardless of whether you have a censored motor or a sensorless motor, you want that brushless motor to be operating in sensorless mode. And that's down to the simple fact that your electronic speed control is going to give you variable timing. Just like we know in the automotive industry where we can get variable valve timing, in our radio controlled hobby, we can get variable timing with the ESC to the motor. And this is what we want as the loads and speeds end up changing throughout the range of operation. At very high speeds, we need a different amount of timing than at lower speeds. And if you operate in sensorless mode, this is going to give you the most optimum amount of performance that you can possibly squeeze out of your brushless motor and it's all going to be controlled by your electronic speed control. And the last item here on our list deals with the amount of power output that we can get from a sensorless brushless motor. Because a sensorless brushless motor is going to contain a larger section of the rotor as well as the windings in that particular motor to make actual power, this is where we can get a greater power density for the size and the weight of that motor. Sensorless motors are going to be more powerful in nature than the same equivalent size or weight of a censored motor. Now this is gonna be a significant advantage to a lot of us because we are able to get the highest amount of power in our brushless motor for the smallest footprint of the motor. And you know that a lot of the radio control vehicles on the market, regardless of which vehicle type, whether it be a boat, car, or plane, you have limited speed space to get your motor in there. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that video. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.